Welcome back to Good Day Kentucky on your Wednesday morning live here at Arthur Murray Dance Studio. We're joined by our friend of the broadcast. We got Hunter Lyle, the expert, resident dance expert, at least that's what we like to call him well, here. Also our Dancing with the Stars expert, which we will recap as we are heading into the final week. But we're going to talk about reasons to learn how to dance. Right. Number one, it's good for you. Boy, it is. It's healthy. If you dance for one lesson, it's like walking a mile and a half. You know, you've got exercise. Really? Yeah, social reasons. You've got special events coming up. You've got just fun and self-confidence also. Mm -hmm. Especially as things do get a little bit colder. Now your nice long walk in the evening yes. doesn't become as enjoyable, but you no. can bring it indoors That's and dance right. with your friends. Instead of walking outside, you come in and walk in here to music. Mm -hmm. So it makes it a lot more fun. And you get the exercise without the boredom. Yeah. So it's not like going somewhere. You get to have fun and enjoy life a little bit. And who doesn't like playing dress up every now and again too? That's right. But let's talk about wedding season. I mean that is I would say the one event that it's mandatory. If you're on the sideline, you deserve yeah. to get a hard time. And it has changed a lot in the past six months because of Facebook Live. You know, it oh, used to gosh. be you were on a wedding and you would videotape it on a smartphone even, and you might be on like, an hour or two later. Now you're on instantly. So you want to look good when you get out on the floor for that very first dance. Instantly humiliating myself on social media. <laughs> it's always a pleasure for them to do that sometimes. Oh, yeah. It and gets a lot. Yeah, the parents too, they want to get out mm -hmm. there. So it's kind of like you want to feel good out there. Mm -hmm. My mom and dad, they continue taking their dance. They love it. That's their activity for the uh -huh. week though together too and then they keep telling me I need to do it more so we're gonna have Allison Evans yes. show us a thing or two uh, we're gonna learn uh, the rumba first we're gonna talk about when would I pull out the rumba when would I try and wow someone with the rumba so the rumba is a great dance for a lot of social events so weddings parties any of those business formal parties that are coming up mm -hmm. very great for that and for the brief tutorial I got it is pretty user-friendly uh, we're gonna find out here in a second but what type of uh, music or environment would this be like especially popular so all sorts of music can be used um, a lot of ballads so we have like uh, my girl by the temptations we have Love apologize by one republic so mm -hmm. all sorts of different music can be used for this and one of the things we're also talking about like a good you know 80s ballad or even a little metallica oh, yeah. you could actually put it to use that way oh yes absolutely so you can have some fun with the rumba all right well i'm terrified um, always uh, I, if i do bad i blame the microphone because it's not natural to hold this when you're dancing so uh let's get started with the rumba all right absolutely so first you have your left hand up we're going up hand Mod right modified Yes, modified. Okay, so your hand is going to be right here on the shoulder. Shoulder blade. Right here. Okay. Starting with your feet together. Touching elbows. Feet yes. together. So Got you're it. You're going to be making a box. Okay. All right, so you're coming forward with your left foot. Left. And side together. Mm hmm Just like that. Together. Now with your right. Yes. And side, side. together. That's it. Three that feet. is it. Yes. Four, four steps making a box. All right. Now you come forward with your left. Left. Side. side together. Yeah, now back with your right. Mm -hmm. Side together. We'll add a little timing. Oh no. All right. You're oh good. no. You're good. Curve ball. Okay. So forward with your left. It's going to be a slow step and then a quick, quick back with your right. Slow mm -hmm. step. Quick, quick. I awesome. don't like this. Slow. I don't oh, like you, you up this. at the tempo. Quick, I don't like it. And slow and quick, quick and just like that. Okay. You know and we are rumba. doing slow. the rumba. There and you go. Quick. I want to say it was painful, but it wasn't. But yeah, excellent instructor, and of course, uh, that's what you know. Hunter prides himself on is your staff like you that is so helpful and so enthusiastic. You have to enjoy kind of seeing it evolve from uh, I can't dance at all to now this is one of my favorite things to do. Oh, I absolutely love it. I see it every single day. Students coming in, they are horrified, they're terrified. Within one lesson, they are happy, they're having fun, and we teach them to dance, and I absolutely love it. Uh, I keep day. coming back, but we appreciate what you do. All right, uh, I'm going to learn another step or two, and we're also going to take a look at the finalists for Dancing with the Stars. That's coming up later in the show. Until then, Katie and Doug, uh, what would you guys think? Slow clap, my man. There we go. Ten, ten, ten. Rocket it. <laughs> we appreciate it, Eric. Nice work. <laughs> well, a company shaves off their icon and a cantina goes to Vegas. We'll have that and much more coming up in your talkers.